Hooray. Can't. Not a particularly wonderful looking hand, but anyway, better than no cards at all. Imagine that North will uh, let this go. No, he hasn't. He's got eight points and the four, four awful hearts, flat shape. Well, I think a lot of people would have passed one, though, Trump. It's the sort of hand at match points where if you do risk bidding two clubs in case there's a game and you strike lucky finding partner with... Uh, hearts that you may then decide to pass even though a game is still possible you may think you've beaten par by deciding to bid at all and now may score better in the 4-4 uh, four, four heart fit but that's a match point argument let's see You can see what a truly awful game it is with two matching 4-3-3-3 uh, three, three, three shapes Losers absolutely uh, everywhere, except in the Trump suit. Not surprisingly, it didn't take uh, Levy too long to decide to pass three hearts. Uh, to be honest, I would have uh, downgraded both hands out open the south. Uh, <coughs> less than a stronger Trump. It's, uh, although it's quite prime, you know, you've got, it's a lot of losers. You need a lot from partners to even make three no good. As, uh, they pass. Well, are you, you're not saying you would downgrade the south hand, are you? What, what has he got? He's got 15 points. I mean, I think enough to open uh, one no trump on that hand. It's the other hand that might well have decided to pass. Because there's oh, one I, uh, extreme. I, I do. Yeah, I, I was just going to repeat one extremely interesting fact that I've only said on BBO about ooh, 43 times. That's that uh, when your partner opens a 15 to 17 no trump, he's almost exactly twice as likely mathematically to have 15 points rather than 17. Now, that really blew my mind the first time I saw it, but that is in fact true, and therefore you must bear that in mind when you're deciding whether to make a, a game try on the responding hand. Yeah, good point, David. And with the modern trend to upgrade, you're going to see a 14-point hand as often as you see a 17-point hand. Yes, but in that case, they reckon that it's worth 15, either because there's a five-card suit or an absolute uh, plethora of tens and nines. So you can assume it is uh, 15 to 17, and it's the other guy's business if he's uh, upgraded it. Right, I was just going to extend your comment. That means that for realistic expectations, it's even more than 2 to 1 that you're facing 15. It's more something, it's closer to 3 to 1 because of all those upgrades. I see what you mean, yes, that, that is indeed true. And when you, you've got 4-3-3-3 shape on though, you can knock off a point, so that's not really worth an 8 count. You know, to have two 4-card suits is incredibly valuable, whether you're playing in a suit or, or one no trump. 4-3-3-3, then you shouldn't really have been. There you go. Right, I, I, I didn't comment on North uh, two clubs because for me it's an absolute clear path of one no trump. With no discards available and no roughs because of the matching shape, looks indeed as if Declare is going to lose two spades two diamonds and a club. His only chance is to uh, try and leave the club suit alone and exit at a stage when uh, when East is on lead. Practically impossible to visualize and he'd have to lead away from the king of clubs or if 
West was on lead and held the 10 with East holding the king, then a lead from West would allow the 9 to be put in and declare it could make it then, but he can't actually do it as the cards lie as I see it. Right, and the, declare, uh, the defense are just letting him get in. And note that North's trumps were so bad that that doesn't even have a trump entry, even hoping for some favorable position like uh, crushing the 10 doubles in of clubs or something like that. He can't get back to the dummy to, to play another club up. I think this, I'm not sure about this play. I mean, isn't his only hope to play to get uh, King Ten, uh, King Doubleton on side? Uh, I suppose the count of the hand, sorry, it makes that impossible. I have to say that it's a deserved five minutes to Germany on this board. Well, I just brought up the East-West Convention card. That comes up okay in a separate window as a PDF file, but the PDF file appears to be screwed and there's only the first pitch there. I don't know, uh, I clicked on Kratz to get that. I could try clicking on the other guy, see if his PDF files are in sounder shape. It almost certainly is the same one. Uh, rather rarely, uh, for, for me watching this level, uh, both East West and North South do play as one game force, although uh, North South is almost game force. Um, and East West play a four card major system which is uh, so it's fairly rare these days. Yeah, so, so not a bad heart flag on this board, but as always, I mean, just the advice I learned very early is that when you're looking for 4-4 four, four slam, 4-4 four, four fist, your trumps better be good because you, you can't afford trump losers. Uh, playing game, you don't really need particularly strong fit because you can start trying to add some trump tricks. But in slam, you can only afford one loser. So there are those famous de educational deals where sometimes the 5 3 fit is better for slam purposes as long as it's a strong 5 3 fit and you don't need additional trump tricks in a 4 4 fit. It's so here, pretty borderline. So here there are yeah, I was going to... Yeah, I was going to agree with uh, Yuan and say that it's borderline anyway on that west hand to start thinking of a slam, what's he got? 14 points, 4, 4, 3, 2, facing 15 to 17. That's borderline in terms of point count and a very good point Yuan made that with his bad trumps, he must um, demote even further the chance of the slam. He's judged it well by bidding only four hearts. Great, and that's what they did at the other table because in the uh, Bermuda Bowl, in uh, the one match which is still alive, both pairs went too high and uh, and reached the slam. So they've been outbid in the seniors event here. And another small swing to Monaco in case you're following in that six hearts is substantially better than six no drums. The 10 9 can. part makes it just about good enough, I think, to bid because you have some added vigor of picking up the jack of heart. Well, you do, but there's some case, uh, in some cases, South will be able to sort of duck if he has ace one, if he reads the situation, to leave a uh, declarer with a guess if. Uh, he can see the 10-9 in dummy and realizes that Declare is likely to have king-queen and that there may be a finesse if he takes his ace on the first round. I was also going to say that um, 
the fact that they both bid it in the Bermuda Bowl may well be affected by the fact that there are only 16 hands left and a pretty huge lead in favor of Monaco. So that would be good reason for USA 1 to attempt a slam that was uh, you know, maybe something like 40% or something because they need to gain imps. As well as that, when the other team pick up the cards, they may think, well, all these years say lads are going to be bidding this one to try and get a swing match it to start some maybe some of those you see that South did are no back X and now the one we can possibly have a some the others uh, When like this double and doubleton assuming the first three possible holdings five so times as likely. And right, the DA eight certainly looks like a um, have the seven in your hand with um, so you really are the three two split. And remember, you don't decide. That your hand because you're going to lose, so you need to be picking out that. If it is explained, the odds pay a clearer play. You'd have thought at this level, every card combination, you just know they. But uh, you once or twice a week to know the dozens of possible combinations and the way you calculate looking at one suit in to look at the number of that one lock up against uh, that the rival lock up uh, as, as I pointed out ace jack doubleton combination and uh, ace combination. So if you've seen that combination, it's a simple way of working it out. Gosh, so, so long they've been playing. And then say for you. Supporting art, you can imagine these teams, maybe it's maybe friends, are uh, feeling a bit in the state. So I always like secrets. Something that comes. So often people play for full harm space over. Strong no trump opening with Salem first. Now, chicken text the second hand, and you're going to be playing transfers, which has to be a transfer to Hawaii, not giving part of the chance to go wrong uh, when you actually open the space. 
And it's really a convention. It's more of a protecting your partner kind of the no downside bid. No downside, isn't it possible that the four spades is a Q bid with hearts agreed? Doesn't seem very difficult. Instead of agreeing to play uh, the chicken method to cover, forgetting the the method, then just <laughs> just to agree that you'll remember it instead. Anyway, it's uh, certainly an amusing story. Yeah, I mean specifically after this one no trump, two club, two diamonds, where partners denied a four card major, and you just want to play in the right major at four level. Yes, but Responder is uh, still unlimited, so you might want to transfer into Hearts and then make a slam try. Uh, right, that's where the chicken is okay because you can always bid four diamonds and partner will bid four hearts over that. Now you can make a slice over once hearts have been agreed. But nonetheless, so here we, we see another non competition about what the best way to play the space suit is. And he just decided to take a simple, it doesn't really matter, simple guess. No, some of those combinations where you're missing the queen and you've got us with no tactic and choosing one, uh, you you see that one high honor in if you're possible. Uh, on if you played in one direction. So again, you can. Uh, good point. Wait, supposing you were in some there's five of a major contract where you had six to clean up. The player is likely going to be making some discovery plays about getting at least a semi-count by rocking some clubs uh, and using trump entries to get a get a count on the hand. But what the good, good thing about being in four and being cold for four is that you don't need to strain yourself too much. Uh, but nonetheless, in this kind of uh, very close match where an imp's an imp's an imp, there's some case to be said for declare making taking some club roughs uh, whilst pulling trump. That sort of method of aiming for a count or a partial count before you take a key guess on a queen is of use mainly in no trump contracts because uh, normally messing around while there are still trumps out, if you need to guess the queen of trumps, uh, may mean that you run into a rough. But it's absolutely vital in no trump contracts to, to even if you you can only get a count on two suits in the two suits that uh, you've looked at is less likely to hold the missing queen in the fourth suit. However, there are some fallacious arguments that I've seen bridge writers and analysts use in particular. In three no trumps, the hand on lead is most often going to be leading from his longest suit. So just because he happens to have done that, the way round you decided to play three no trumps doesn't mean that the other hand is favorite to hold some missing queen. If the other hand had been on lead and led from his longer suit, using that argument, you'd be saying that uh, the first defender was the one favorite to hold it. So a lot of players, uh, including uh, the famous writer Hugh Kelsey in one book, as I see it, fell into that trap. A really good point. Um, so Philip Martin has an excellent article on his webpage. Pretty, well, pretty much all his articles are superb, although there's not very many, where he talks about this situation, about um, on average, the leading hand against no trumps has an average length of about four so We all know, assuming it's a fourth fast lead, we all always all know that if we do lead a four car suit and lead low, often we have five cars, sometimes we have six and so on. Well, the minimum type of length we have is four. So unless you find some really surprising distribution around the table, um, it's slightly counterintuitive, although by counterintuitive, it just means you need to think carefully and logically or read Philip Martin's article. You need to be able to take the, the, uh, the, the finesses the right way around. And often it's going to be through the opening leader, actually. And there's another case that if opening leader shows up with two four-card suits, 
there's a there's a principle of restricted choice going on that if he held an honor in both suits, he might have led the other suit. So it's, it's very subtle. Here, South has shown a, a strong balanced hand. Five, four, two. Balance, but of course, I'm very, very happy to do. And uh, as uh, came to light, obviously, three clubs in the same weather. So the, it's a two nothing, or you've opened two clubs wrong and asked official and rebid to. And North does enough. He he judges to so thinking of a slam. So I'm not sure, but in the French style, it's very strong. That's a lot of losers. And about to have even better hands. Slam good. For instance, if North has held a, a hard honor. Be worth the diamond. Be mine. Even on the hat has sort of play for us. Uh, basically, if even me, you've still. As well, so I'm on two, not good, but on the count and with only six, such a slam might be worth bidding because it back by you're going to get a no trump contracts and somehow swing 50 imps. double then uh, you would have this cards for the hearts uh, the spots are in good give west 1098 so I see what you mean yeah eight comes that's Yeah, you're quite right. The queen is covered. And then he got one. And, uh, yeah, and the... Yep, that's right. Have to take... Take uh, new finesse. This diamond... Is almost certainly wasted card. As uh, North's concern. the score or in that uh, you last you say so you've just looked at it uh, the Monaco are picking up more in school plus essentially so for uh, which well of course we're Similar thing, I think you can put it pretty bleak. Sort of straight forward, the uh, west. And uh, week two, he's going, going for us. Yeah. When you need them all. So you need, it's, it's a thing, correct? You don't, 
once it pretty much when you're super You need to go both and target while well, we virtual discuss in SI, but it's not that. And as I've mentioned more than once, that's exactly why you don't see a single book out of all the thousands of uh, bridge books, good and bad, that have been written that's entitled How to Swing a Match When You're Losing Heavily with Very Few Boards Left. For a start, they're not meant many people who are going to want to walk into a bookshop and say, I'm a pretty useless player. I usually find myself a uh, pretty in the stack. Uh, I agree. Uh, but the thing is that people I find that's why it's not those last a long way down. Yeah, a tiny, tiny mod. Every one of the game. Uh, so it's the uh, first set of them you might see. Notice that this one in here. People attempting of trying to upset their opponents. Here are there. what they call their authority on outrageous on but it is the way all the luck again I self get N played when I could have unblocked a card. So the next day back at work they were saying, Oh you just lost by six cents, why was that? And they said, Oh Dave misdefended did a hand and you know, look he shoot he could easily have beaten it. Forgetting about all the mistakes they've made when I they just remember last mistake, so that's what to avoid here. Hello, oh, partner. The past ten on this board. Open page. And you only have two cards in the major type of creep instead. Uh, an interesting double here. There is north without eight. I don't know. This is the French style. In some player now to be one space whether they've got four, four or five and then the negative double denies they could they could be I, I um I can understand it on the scars and compete on that. You are vulnerable and you've got a good suit and it's uh, of course you could uh, look entirely foolish if your partner's got uh, long spades but it's going to put it to the uh, opponents a bit, then you haven't got much defense if they end up playing the contract uh, in hearts. But all the gamble and they take the, uh, the wave out at the top. I agree, but uh, it's Uh, I, I commented on that, you know, as myself. Although I was trying to scout the one diamond. But often they simply don't fit. My spades are just my partner. No one's here. Open with spades. This is the very same. Uh, it looks like the opponents have something hard. East cube bid, as always, shows. Uh A strong rain heart and uh, south must of us 
assumed, I think, that Wolf had denied spades and sort of diamond or spades. So if he expected his partner might have spades, then he would have been heading in that direction. So West has a reasonable hand for uh, for his one heart over call. Not really enough to go to four hearts facing a cupid raise, but I mean the odds change once once he hears four diamonds. Looks like uh, whether they can make four hearts might depend on the opening lead. Can they get some club roughs? Some chance for a fancy opening lead of the Queen of Diamonds in case that holds the trick and uh, West can, North can then find a good switch. That would be enough. Queen of Diamonds, club rough. Ace of spades, club rough. Anyway, not automatic to sacrifice. He has sacrificed. It's going to say not all. First of all, he's it's not, and second term, but he's got now facts as a yeah, file, I'm but will be around red. So in this contract, to get as many tricks as possible, the Clarer will be looking to rough spades in the dummy. He's bound to have one trump left over because they break 2-1, but say uh, a trump is led, that very likely, maybe not, but uh, West does have some sort of control of all the other suits. If a trump is led and he plays ace and another spade, then West wins and doesn't have another trump to play. To hmm. declare a may then be it. Yeah, I'm saying it's like uh, seven and the other one, when East is poised to over rough, he can take it with the Queen. He, he might escape um, for one down then. And four, four hearts has uh, some chance of slipping through if they don't find the club rust. So I think they'd mind uh, losing 200 on the board. What has happened? They found a super defense against four hearts. Four hearts has gone three down. So I'll quickly see, uh, did they find... No, a down lead to the ace, a to the ace, and a club switch. And the other table to try and prevent North getting on lead. Um, they rose with the king of spades on South's lead, and that meant that North might get a rough in as well. Pedro. Exactly. Yes, I've just seen that now. Going up with the King of Spades was a fair shot on the bidding, I dare say. Was it? Or not? Hmm. I don't know whether it was or not. It looked like a bit of a long shot to me. But anyway, it proved uh, very unlucky. If Costing uh, one or two more trucks.
see on the second cousin with the king. Declarer decides that uh, Easter's not got it because he thinks that uh, he, he would be sure to grab this trigger when he's defending five diamonds doubled. He wouldn't want to risk the fact that uh, Declarer might win with the queen and and actually make the contract. So once he places west with the king, he just ducks it and he's now hoping that if he only makes one rough, that will bring down king third. Quite a good chance because Western overcalled a heart and uh, he's not, he's known to have hearts because his part strong raise. Not so likely that he's got four spades as well to overcall in the first place. But West has got ten to all a heart, it's true. But he could have had uh, with uh, entirely obvious for West to play another Trump now if he has one. He doesn't, but uh, his partner is probably at this stage a good favourite to hold the King of Hearts. It depends on how many hearts two diamonds promises, but it's exactly three. West has the luxury of playing the ace for an attitude, uh, low encouraging, or in this particular holding, he will drop the king and this from the queen. Um, and if it's discouraging, then almost really they should have the club ace. Yeah, but then he will have set up declare as king in that case, so it is not uh, cost lost to cash up, but he's just a big favourite. I think perhaps um, on the spade up, uh, West took East two spades as a suit preference uh, for clubs. It's possible. Um, it's a little bit dangerous always with us guessing what they will or will not think, but there is a case for East to play the ten of spades just to tell part that, hey, look, next trick, I know you're going to win, uh, give me a heart. Doesn't seem to be much downside. In the USA Monaco match, uh, East West was so that was being big swing. Eight imps is always welcome, but it's particularly welcome when uh, the match is so close and you're in the last set. So that's eleven imps, just a little bit of a a gap appearing. I sometimes think of uh, leads here that if you're more than thirteen ahead, which is roughly a game swing or a uh, one side bidding a slam, the other not. That's about the equivalent of being one goal ahead in a, in a football match. So they're not quite one goal ahead, but uh, certainly the supporters of Germany will be happy to see a chunky eight up here in the plus column.
So I'm not sure about this uh, one. Ah, there we go. It's a one club opening. <laughs> yes, I, I was just trying to think of something, uh, some clever explanation for one diamond. I'm glad I didn't step in with something foolish there. Roland Valt, who's uh, for many years organized the BBO coverage of commentators. First of all, just for tap-in, and uh, then for voice and for tap-in, did an absolutely marvelous job and was uh, actually won the Alan Truscott Award for a contribution to Bridge because he'd done so much to advance the uh, popularity of watching these top tournaments online. Anyway, he has plenty to say about one diamond over calls of one club in particular because it doesn't take away any bidding space, which is one of the prime objectives of making an overcall. He reckons that you should have a pretty good hand to do it. You shouldn't just come in because you've got King Jack to five and another ace somewhere like that. So I guess he'd just about be happy with uh, what North has got and why not. So rather curiously, in the uh, ring text, people are having a discussion whether or not this is uh, an opening hand by North. Uh, seriously, the modern style may be to open this, say, a short club or a precision diamond, um, or even a natural one diamond. It certainly has the right playing strength. And all those tens and a five card suit beats, beats a lot of bad 12 counts that people consider normal to open. After the third point, he stopped counting uh, high card points traditionally. Right. Now, I wonder how many of our kibitzers, or even you, Yuan, would guess how the bidding went at one table of the China-England-Venice uh, Cup semi-final. The China East was uh, first to speak and opened uh, one no Trump. <laughs> of course, that's an example of going for a swing that we were discussing. The uh, wow. China I've China never team seen are behind. Vulnerable not, no, vulnerable against not. Well, they went for 300 in uh, in two hearts, so that's not going to be a particularly good board for them. Wonder what happened there. How on earth did they manage to stop in two hearts? They're lucky that West didn't uh, go into the what I might call the stratosphere. Looking at the West name. Are you sure, David, my, uh, that West didn't open a no trump, which would be fairly normal, and then East transferred to two hearts? Well, I don't think Tim Burke would have um, actually... Uh, <laughs> sorry, it was a typo by Tim, yeah. West opened one no trump, yeah. Yeah, he did say East, so I replied, wow, and I'll tell everyone here. <laughs> but in fact, it was West, yeah. You're right, yeah, you managed to, to read it. So for East West to escape being declared here uh, in two hearts is quite good. Um, as we can see, actually one no trumps because of the nice clubs plays reasonably well. I'm curious that uh, North passed the one spade. I suppose this is uh, what I like to call a support pass, often showing exactly three, maybe four bad support cards and no, no desire to go any higher. Um, this, what I like to call the support pass is equally descriptive of that if East West choose to compete, South with a five card suit can happily bump to two. Yes, well, North would never dream of passing uh, if his partner wasn't a past hand. And even though uh, he is a past hand, some sort of, uh, some Norths would still raise because they would expect one spade to be a constructive bid and that two spades should be comfortable and they would try to shut out competition uh, by East.
So as Tesla said, I'm a bit surprised that the uh, the clerk didn't try to disrupt this with the queen and pitch his losing diamond. Although I suppose I suppose he always has a hard loser anyway. He might just he might just pitch from both hands. Spectre Claire is quite pleased to be playing at the one level. Yeah, he wants to keep some losers in his hand to maybe pick up the, uh, well, as you see, there's a relatively nice phase split in that uh, you're going to pick up a thing with an honor, an honor being nine or jack now, so that if you can pull a trump with a queen, he can just stop playing trumps and catch some winners and eventually hope to make the ace-eight, irrespective of who holds the jack. So either, either East can't get in to push, push something through, or West is dead played. That, that would be played for Atrix, actually, which I think he will get. Much simpler bidding at the other table. South opened one no trump in second seat, upgrading the hand because of the uh, excellent 4-3-3-3 shape. <laughs> And of course, those three eights backing up the honours, and that was passed out for uh, for one twenty. Well, as I mentioned before, I've got up the uh, the German card here convention card, but it does only have one, the first page showing. The window for the uh, second page is only about a quarter of an inch deep. So I, I can't even see from that convention card uh, what no trump range they're playing. It's possible at favorable vulnerability though. Oh, sorry, I was just going to answer your question. Since I seem to have better luck with computers, uh, East West played 15 to 17, no Trump. Yes, I, I was wondering uh, more why they've been able to open one no Trump at the other table on the South cards. Maybe some pairs at favorable play a 10 to 12, no Trump. Certainly, if you were playing 12 to 14, you wouldn't dream of, dream of upgrading it.
more likely no open it and you were no Trump you might risk some sort of club at three part and they'd either because Any comments on that? Yeah, well one of them comments are just very talking which between the you know quick and maybe the armament we saw it uh, where we suspicious that the operator really in the annoying couple of days ago um, seen the, the black really I'm not a particularly sad to think about Sometimes I don't see hard for them to just leave it out. And indeed, it does manage to uh, pick up all because the players can't have heard the operators. They can of just sort of like show it for a split second. So that's people to say there it. There are many names to all these If you see them uh, in a little presence in a room, yeah, they're sometimes sitting back. On their yeah, computer, that, um, I sneeze would be fantastic. A couple it's a card, you could so easily. I've never Level. seen that happen as operators have been. You know, they're really, really cool. and quite often, often they're 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 around much much less a much less important names. I've lost the play. And uh, Harman really happens in theater. Yeah, yeah. 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 two big ones down three hearts. Chris is in the hidden out. Where sales are, it is good with that plus four game. I call to suggest talent of these are risky those who are too free to try. But it is like the best. You see what I find it. Four souls would be fairly normal contracts as well. Well, of course, the, uh, of course, these should bid uh, four hearts when Palmer's come in with three hearts. I don't, he's got a singleton spade and three three card support to an honour. What West should have thought? I mean, I don't want to be teaching lessons to players who are playing in a world semi-final when I'm a relatively modest performer. But he should have thought that the bidding started two spades pass pass. Does he think that people are going to bid like that when they can make four spades? So East West came into the auction and North now bid three spades and over partners four hearts, he now bid four spades. Well, you, you don't expect that to make, so why on earth are you trying to make 11 tricks in hearts? You've got a reasonable defense, your partner uh, overcalled at the three level. I mean, gosh, there's so many ways to lose imps through bad luck. I, I regard that as, uh, as pretty bad. I, know, I don't want to criticize because I remember that uh, I used to get completely exhausted by playing bridge for a weekend, and these guys have been playing for two weeks, so it's absolutely fabulous they can play at this level for so long. But that was a serious misjudgment there. Excellent point, David. And it looks like, uh, yeah, a bit of your uh, one goal looks like it's going towards Germany at this moment, as is often the case, maybe in football more so. Right, that's true. They're 12 up with that good board, this good board still to come. So a serious margin is uh, opening.
one could say that the bidding at this table was absolutely textbook, absolutely what you would expect to put if you were uh, wanting to put a deal into some book and you had to invent some bidding or you would just say, well, that's obvious bidding, isn't it? Single raise, east comes in, south bids a preemptive three spades, and west has got no fit for clubs and lets it go. So that is the par bidding as I see it. So when we look at the, the, the stand, one of the, the myths of bridge comes to mind, you know, that if two hands are balanced or semi-balanced, that the, the opponents are as well. This is, of course, absolute nonsense. It's simply that a priori, you know, there are more, so the more balanced distributions are more likely. But once you your particular hands are balanced, it is nothing more or less about the a priori distribution about the opponent's hands. That's no, absolutely, yeah, absolutely no. right. I think it was some theory, what, back in the 1940s called the theory of matching distributions or even distributions. It involved the word distribution. It was complete nonsense. You know, and they used to analyze, well, because this suit is breaking 4-1, it's quite likely that the other suit will be breaking 4-1. So much nonsense was talked about about it. Once you've extracted, say, the north-south cards, then the uh, distribution of the east-west cards is, is totally random, uh, redeal in effect of the 26 cards left. So Yuan is spot on with that. So an aggressive uh, three no trumps here. Well, he had he had to do it, really. I suppose he might have doubled and hoped for a spade fit, but uh, that's fair enough. 16, you know, can be unlucky, but you just have to take these risks, and you can't judge whether it's a good bid or not, depending on whether North happens to have uh, the cards or East does. Just one of the gambles you have to take. Yeah. Certainly a very good and a very obvious three diamond opening from West. Same cards are played, of course, in uh, all these matches, although some teams have dropped out already because there have been some amazingly one-sided uh, games, even at this late stage when you expect them to be very, very close, as indeed this match is, or was. But you'd expect everyone to open three diamonds. Yeah, particularly in the Bermuda Bowl, where in the previous round, uh, Poland steamrolled the Netherlands, the defending champs, and what many people thought to have a quite a good shot at this this time as well, um, they withdrew in the last round in the previous set. And now, with two sets to go, Poland had already uh, said goodbye um, due to Italy being way, 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 way ahead. What we were just talking about that. Uh business back in the 1940s, totally duff uh, theory. Tim Burke, who has one of the world's biggest book collections on bridge and an expert in the history of the game, he tells me that it was uh, Carl Butson's theory of symmetry. And it was based on the way tricks were collected and uh, the imperfect shuffle at rubber bridge. So maybe the uh, fact that the cards were poorly shuffled, and if a trick stays intact on a, on a careless overhand shuffle, the cards are going to be, uh, the four spades in that trick will be dealt evenly around the table. Maybe there was some sense in it then. What I've just mentioned about uh, tricks intact getting dealt evenly around the table, that's exactly why when uh, players first started using computer dealt hands, they were absolutely staggered at how wild the hands were. But they were indeed truly random, as one would expect the computer programs to been tested to make sure that the distributions agreed with the calculated mathematical odds. It was just that players were so used to playing from uh, decks that hadn't been shuffled properly. It's funny how things change. A lot of people, 
you know, stuck in the mud previously, and now, now you know, resolutely love computer dealt hands because, you know, there are all sorts of games. You get hand records. Plus, you get more interesting hands. Who wants to play in a one of Trump pass, 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 every single board, which is what have possibly happens with uh, less well shuffled hands? You see a, a bit more variety, I think, and it's just more accurate. Now, Wes is trusting that Declare perhaps has a bid, or that East has singles and jack. Nothing you can really do about that, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any way for Declare to come to nine tricks here. An optimist would say two clubs, diamond, a heart, two, three spades. Uh, an optimist, an optimist is up to seven there. Let's let's throw in another heart trick. Eight. Well, maybe another club. It would be pretty disastrous for Declare to make this. At the other table, the German South decided to let uh, three diamonds pass out, which. Uh, Certainly uh, not a mistake. It's the winning decision here, and indeed, South was just on the uh, the lower end of the range where you would bid three no trumps. One of the tap-in commentators was saying it was about 16 to 22 to uh, make a bid like that, a very wide range. And here you had only, at very best, a non-vulnerable game coming your way. And at worst, you could find uh, East with quite a big stack, very short diamonds just waiting to uh, W for a big penalty. So it was a close decision. If West was uh, aiming to set up heart tricks in partner's hand, he would have switched to the queen. But in fact here, he was maybe rather hoping that East could win with the ace and uh, set up the hearts. And the diamonds, set up the diamonds with a diamond return. David and I have been talking repeatedly about the importance of being careful with spots. You, I'm sure you know yourself that you accidentally played the two or the three, your lowest card, you know, in a moment of super, and partner took it seriously, like they should, and returned the wrong suit. Um, so West here it looks like a careful club suit preference. Play the two, then the three. How much clearer can you get, partner? I have something in clubs. And he duly does play a club. West is forced to discard a diamond here to protect partner's heart holding and to not give up the club suit. The initial hostility towards uh, the first computer dealt hands was largely because declarers didn't like it when they went off in contracts because the trumps broke 5-0, that sort of thing. They say, oh, these 
ridiculous computer dealt hands. I'm not going to play in any more tournaments where the hands are dealt so stupidly. But uh, Tim's just telling me that in fact the computer programs were not entirely sound in the early days. Well, I've, I've never heard uh, that before and did produce hands that were slightly wilder than the mathematics would indicate. In fact, I'm pretty surprised to hear that because no program would go into production unless they'd, say, dealt a million deals and then found that they corresponded almost exactly to the mathematical tables. Uh, for those interested, we always like to find a little bit of extra information for free. Hey, what are we here for? There's an excellent program online called Playbridge. If you Google for Playbridge, and what it is is an online dealer. You can put in whatever requirements you like, and it will it will throw out up to 60 up to 64 boards for your specifications. It's recently been upgraded so that you can it can start rotating hands if you want. But say you want to practice a new convention with your partner, you can run. 64 such hands, bid them yourself, ask your partner to bid on the same hand, and compare later. Of course, BBO has excellent bidding sequence, uh, practice times, but it requires you to be there and present at the same time and not in your own leisure. And you can't do as many really as quickly. But with the Playbridge thing, uh, you can roll off 64 boards, do them to your heart's content, and compare later when you meet up. And what it also provides this thing that David just suggested, a check that the hands they deal do correspond to mathematically expected values at its some ridiculous decimal place now. It's very, very good and accurate. Right, let's just take a look at the scorecard and see what am I looking at. I'm looking at the other table now, so that's the uh, German scorecard. Only one minor score and a massive uh, string of plus scores, including 500. They can be well pleased with their efforts in this set. It's a yeah, bit more mixed, the scorecard here. Well, they've only lost one imp, so that indeed is, is pretty good. Here, I mean, North has got an absolutely huge hand. But uh, if they take the spade tricks, then uh, five clubs leads the jack to fall. Yeah, the best contract here is three no trumps. Because uh, in clubs, you, or higher contracts, you need the club to break. Presumably, it yes. will be a two diamond opening, a very strong hand. Presume, I don't, I'm not quite familiar with the French system, but I think it's probably game force. Yeah, that's absolutely right. In three no trumps, you can afford to lose two spades and a club. And there's nothing much that uh, they can do to you in spades, it seems, on any distribution. They have to play the spades first, so you've, you've got a very good protection there. So I'm being told by uh, a kibber who's more familiar with the French standard that this two spades is an ace ask. Or is that the three clubs is an ace ask? I'm not sure. Uh, the two spades is an ace response. No, I think it's I the, think two to, uh, the, two the two diamond the two diamond opening is asking for aces and the two spade response shows a major skewed ace they're telling us in the tap-in uh, commentary. Three clubs will then be natural, I guess. The idea that the first response to uh, two strong two club or two diamond opening is to, sh is to show an ace is something that 
originated 50 years ago or something and has been largely dropped. Although in the famous blue club system where they opened one club on good hands, the first response there was mainly showing how many controls you had. So you could say that you had three controls, say, and no suit had yet been mentioned. But I mean that was a famous system and basically the system on which the uh, Italian follow-up systems were based and they won many, many world championships. Yeah, I, I always wonder what happened to the Blue Club. I think it was, it was to be honest, quite effective, but it was um, complicated and so difficult for say, the masses to pick up. I, I think there's still essentially one pair, one top pair that still plays it um, in the Dutch team. Well, I mean, they, they have their own variants, but it's very much um, Oh, the, the, the genesis is very much the blue club. Well, the m most famous pair to play it in recent times was Hammond and Wolf. As far as the Dutch are concerned, I, I mean, I think they changed various things, and maybe their orange club system is uh, is similar to it. But it involved a lot of canapé bids, where you would open a four-card suit when you had a six-card side suit. Of course, it was entirely sound, as was proved by uh, Italians winning so many world championships. But you are absolutely right in saying fiendishly difficult to play. You couldn't suddenly start saying, oh, partner, shall we try? We didn't do very well last week playing uh, Akol. Do you fancy trying Blue Club this week? Couldn't possibly do that. You've got to spend ages learning a system like that, completely different uh, philosophy of bidding. Yeah, one thing I am a little bit sad is that we we don't see a lot more canopy. Um, I, in fact, it's the same pair who I can think of as a, as a top pair that played it. And of course, um, but Aachen and Von Armin, the, the German ladies who don't play together anymore, um, they, they play the canopy system. It's also, I, I suppose it's just more complicated. We're, we're, we're going to a little bit aside here about what's going on, but uh, they, they've reached four heart double so far, and it's, it's unclear how, where, they're, where they're going. Well, I mean, is that a bit risky for North to pass it? I, I don't see why he passed that. I mean, uh, just to say, if maybe four hearts is just a cubit with clubs agreed. Yeah, he's bid three clubs and four clubs, so you wouldn't start introducing a new suit. Four hearts would be a cubit on the face of it, although South's only got a void club, which will uh, disappoint North if he ends up in five clubs. There's nowhere else to go, and then the jack of clubs will fall. So it looks like that's it. This redouble is not to say I want to play in uh, four hearts redouble. It's to confirm that he has the ace of hearts rather than the king, uh, if he would indeed cubit a king facing a very shapely hand opposite. And... Uh, He's in fact got the ace and king. Anyway, so uh, if he's got that, North is having to calculate whether he's also got a spade on her. So I think indeed that uh, the, the pass of the double denied first round control from North and showed it by South. You talked before about making these dangerous redirecting doubles. Um, North is probably considering uh, psyching a four spade cubit here, or just hoping for a heart lead. Maybe four no trumps to play, so that'll be interesting if they manage to stop in four no trumps. That'll be a superb effort if they manage. Again, you expect just to lose two spades on the club, and that would be absolutely marvellous, but you know how difficult it is for uh, for these bids to be read, and sometimes partner sits there for ages and eventually sort of goes out into the long suit. But anyway, if four no trumps is intended as, as natural, which it may well be, because he would have bid four spades if he had a, a spade high card, or a singleton say, he would be heading for a slam at this stage once uh, the redouble has come. So it looks as if uh, South may be able to diagnose that there are two spade losers now. Yeah, you see, East is asking North, apparently, if Forno Trumps denies a spade control. Well, 
Mind you, if he I'm is, that's an from... absolute. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say that from South perspective, um, if North is willing to play for it or Trump, South is envisioning maybe like King Doubleton or something like that, and that, or whatever re for whatever reason doesn't want to cube in space, I, I think this this is a little bit aggressive, but it'll make on a heart lead. Um, there's an excellent article in uh, The Bridge World, like many articles, where at one point Danny Kleiman distinguishes the difference between good slam bidding and good slam bidding. Uh, the one that you want to do is to bid the more slams that make, not necessarily, you know, irrespective of whether they're good or bad slams. From a right, now perspective. This is a critical moment here because uh, he does have to lead a spade. And I was sort of told by some Kapitza that East was asking North if Forno Trump's denies a spade control. Of course, uh, no good player would start asking questions like that during the bidding. But he would ask them afterwards. Now, he's led a heart, so away goes the uh, spade. And that will be uh, probably, what have they made, five clubs plus one at the other table. Well, you can say it's a lucky pickup to make a slam with uh, an ace king missing, but against that, it's uh, a, f a fault for one reason or another, um, if only by luck that uh, East West haven't found the key bid. I'm told that England uh, in the Venice Cup made six clubs also on this hand, and they're now 82 points ahead. So well played to them. And uh, how this must pain the two defenders to see a spade go now. Because you can say that uh, they were entitled to ask whatever questions they wanted here. And it seems to me that auction did indicate that there was no spade control. I, I think, if anything, I mean, the West double of four hearts seems, uh, well, I mean, well, how can you say it, pointless? But Absol I, I've, I've, absolutely. I've, 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 uh, the one thing I uh, so I really like the uh, bold tips, which are these tips from expert players over various de decades about things to think about or consider thinking about in the in the play. And although I agree with David that leading away from kings and so on uh, against game can often give up a trick against these uh, power like you know sometimes bit by momentum slams, you got you have to attack. Garazzo would have laid down the king of spades. Well, I can't speak for Garazzo, but his tip would have suggested laying down the king of spades here and uh, let the dice roll. Because you know, when you hold the king, a north, if they have a spade control, the best thing they can have is something like ace doubles or something like that. It's unlikely you're giving away a trick here. Of course, this means that you've ignored partners for heart doubles, but presumably, uh, well, yeah. I, I would let you What happened in the Venice Cup is that England played in three no trumps, which is the best contract, and Fiona Brown led a spade against six clubs. Now here, I think uh, East is entitled to put part of the blame on that double of five hearts. I don't like that on Queen Jack to five any more than uh, Yuan does. You know, you shouldn't really do it, particularly if you've got an ace in the other suit and uh, you don't really know that a heart is best. Double it, again, by all means, if they're going to be in three no trumps, because you want to set up the hearts while you've got the ace of spades. But uh, at that level, I think it was, was poorly judged. And it wasn't so easy for East to lead a spade after that double. Imagine if he makes some flyer away from the king and his partner said, goodness me, I doubled five hearts, didn't you hear it? So even though the bidding seemed to suggest that they didn't have a spade control, and maybe East uh, could, should have led a spade on that basis. Certainly, he can't take all the blame when his partner doubled five hearts. No, no, right. I actually agree with you. Um, uh, uh, the reason my, my, my commentary kind of trailed off was that because of the four heart double bid. In fact, the, I, 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 as declare, I love my opponents making me directing doubles because you can you can just imagine this this lead coming to you, and North can quite happily bid the bid the slam. You know, or maybe South can bid it as well, knowing that they're getting a heart lead. I mean, you're looking at the South and you've got Ace King here. You're just delighted. 
Now, lead questions, um, problems like that, if you get them wrong, it's not just a question of, oh, we lost 11 ints because I, uh, I made the wrong lead. It's not 11 ints, it's 20 ints or something. Because if you'd have made the right lead, you'd have picked up a, a double figure swing against five clubs plus one at the other table. So there was absolutely a huge number of ints there. And they still do have, what is it, 17 ints intact, but that's not guaranteed over seven boards. So the lead on that hand, whosever fault it was, let's say that it's 50-50 on, uh, on our analysis, that can, uh, could live to uh, haunt them for a good few months. Yeah, and psychologically, although they've been having a pretty good set so far, I mean, now now those stats are feeling pretty happy, and we'll have to see if East-West can uh, hold in there. particularly annoying for them in that having uh, not taken their two top tricks, the, the clubs also break favorably, so the jack falls. Of course, it would have been equally annoying to declare if he escaped the killing lead and then the jack didn't come down, but it was a very lucky slam. I mean, I really think four no trumps was intended to play. I can't see much sense in it being Blackwood, particularly oh, as easily they uh, haven't. They oh, sorry, especially since the eighth showing was already well, it was already North knew that the eight of hearts. Yes, well, in that case, uh, when aces are already known, four no trumps would ask for kings. But I mean. Uh, Yes, if, if maybe four no trumps was intended to ask for kings, and if he, if he didn't have the king of spades, then uh, he would sign off. But I mean, against that, if he if his king happened to be in hearts, then uh, you still had two spade losers. So I don't think four no trumps was right, even if it was asking for kings. I'll tell you something now I think about it, that uh, West's double of four hearts maybe pushed North into thinking that the chance of the King of Spades being uh, with South was increased. So uh, even though we didn't like it too much, that may have been in fact uh, why, why they were pushed into six clubs which could have gone down. Anyways, uh, so the clear is in a fairly thin contract again here. Despite the spades being blocked, um, the clear is probably a little bit worried. Probably quite happy that North has pitched a couple of spades. But that that suggests that uh, that the hearts aren't going to be too favorable either. You may think that West is uh, pushing it a bit to bid three no trumps, but I, I've recently, over the last two or three years, done a lot of uh, computer analysis on hands, and one thing we discovered is that that West hand is worth raising a 15 to 17 no trump directly to three, not to make a game try. With nine points, you're entitled to go straight to three no trumps, and uh, with that sort of very pleasant looking eight count and a five card suit, it's also uh, also with the odds whatever may be the situation here when East has only got 14 and you've got on the face of it uh, at least five tricks off the top without the spades being blocked. Uh, what do you think about the lead? Um, you have lots of entries, but would you consider, I, mean, I, I guess looking at this number of uh, high card points, it's unlikely for partner to have a, a side entry for the spades, or would you also consider leading the ace king of spades? See what happens. I certainly wouldn't know. With ace king aces entries, I would lead a heart. Yeah, a club, a club, a club. Gosh, 
brain's going dead. Just and he has to go dead for about 0.2 seconds, and you say something foolish. No, you lead the five card suit and three entries. Why well, you lead that? Why not? I, I agree, just checking. Um, say if you didn't have that uh, ace of diamonds, so that um, then then I think it's a lot closer. You can get attitude for the spade suit on the ace of leads. Uh, ace leads. Your clubs are not necessarily good enough to be able to build a trick. Um, so the player will make here, play to make. Very lucky board, very uh, great for them that they can uh, bid what looks like a no pl play game immediately after uh, the disastrous slam that went through. Not that they did anything particularly wrong, but anyway, the slam was made with two top losers. And they can get a big chunk of imps back immediately with a vulnerable game. Four diamonds, two ace kings, and they only need to make one extra trick in hearts. So they will be happy bunnies. So uh, we didn't mention that East has opened uh, one old trump. I mean, they're in the cards at 15 17 with 14 pass. Um, but, you know, this is a good hand. You know, you have spots, two hands, a five card suit. And the great thing here is two hearts went down at the other table, whereas you made three no trumps. Brilliant. Yeah, if you play at 14 plus to 17, that east hand is smack in the middle of the 14 pluses that are worth opening one no trump. It was a good hand. And it reminds us that when you work out, should I bid three no trumps on the west hand, that even if the game is not very good, <laughs> which is a polite way of describing this, it's not so easy to uh, defend perfectly. And uh, even if you're bare in a suit, it may break 5-3 with the uh, three card holding on lead, or your partner may have one stopper in the suit, and again, the three card holding may be on lead. So a lot of three no trump contracts are made that you might think you don't want to be in once you see the dummy, but it's uh, not easy to defend, as we all know. I'm so sorry, much that, as uh, oh, go, go ahead. No, you go. I was only going to make some uh, fatuous joke to fill the space. You, you go. Oh, I was just going to say that I suspect that uh, uh, North South will compete to uh, three spades here. West. As a past hand, that's pretty much as much as you can possibly have. They, they might get too high into four hearts, actually. Well, South seems to have a fairly obvious two spade bid, and then East has a very sound raise to three hearts. I, will he show that with a with a double? Perhaps he might be a bit nervous of only bidding three hearts because he's got three useful cards there, but of course the doubles and spade is a bit of a turn off. But I mean, maybe he'll bid three hearts, but he's, he's good for it. It's quite a good hand, and he would have bid that the same without one of those kings. I, I like to play as a past hand that two no trumps, when they have shown a, a fit, show, show support for partner. I go by the principle, especially non-vulnerable, that if I couldn't open the hand, I have no place offering a natural two no-trumps. But two no-trumps could also be competitive, I suppose, in a minor. But So if the West has forced the game, reasonable here. East has, sadly, uh, not the best hand. Well, three spades. Wow, I see. He's uh, three spades. Of course, is an overbid. 
I mean, you can double if you've got the minor. So I think uh, when there's no space for a qubit in the opponent's suit, it makes uh, good sense to use two no trumps as the game try, whether you've got three or four trumps, and that three hearts would be bid on, say, two good cards instead of three. But anyway, um, North has got six trumps, and um, West overbid has prompted him into going straight to uh, four spades, and now West is how happy is West? Ace, king, king, and they've gone up to four spades. He took a bit of a risk with that three spade bid. Yeah, nice, nice strategic big bid, actually, because as, as we all know, four hearts is a transfer to four spades. And so if you can get them to do it nice and early, now you can hit it. The four partner has the opportunity to go wrong. But none of these weapons bid five hearts here, which would be insane. Yes, you might say that West could do equally well by just bidding four hearts to, um, and it is quite likely they would go to four spades, I suppose. But if he, if North's only got five trumps, he's not always going to do it. But the risk is that if your partner is very, very shapely and you bid four hearts, which can be a sort of shapely jump, that uh, your partner will might occasionally go to five hearts. We've seen that they did that uh, at the other table on one other board and. Uh, got the sharp end of my tongue for it. Perhaps I wasn't as restrained as I should have been. So at least three spades uh, tells partner about the ownership of the hand and advises him not to sacrifice over four spades. So one of the uh, text commentators is suggesting that there are different ways for North to show uh, spades. We, we've talked about needless doubles. But with uh, the additional land, there, there's, a, there's a reasonable case that double of three spades shows this north hand as well. I'm short in hearts. I kind of like to go to four spades myself, but tell, what about you, partner? Well, north uh, has huge playing strength potentially and very little defense with king queen jack to six where uh, every chance that one of the opponents will hold a singleton that just leaves him with a six count in defense so whatever wonderful options he would have at uh, his disposal i don't think he could possibly sort of start consulting partner on that hand he's just got to uh, to bid three spades on his own four spades on his own cards looks looks fair enough regardless of the fact that uh, they would have been short of the necessary cards to make four hearts. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I, I think four spades is very reasonable here and will very often be a good save, especially since the three spades by West, where most people will ostensibly show shortness. Yes, you know, it's interesting in a way that uh, it's the second hand we've seen recently where although maybe we didn't quite agree with or, or wouldn't have bid the same as one of the players, I'm thinking of the uh, the double of four hearts on that uh, six club slam and, and the three spade bid here, even though, they, you know, we might have said, well, I wouldn't have done that. You know, the bids which aren't... Uh, perhaps what you would have bid. I mean, they can work out well in an unexpected way. I mean, West three spades has worked absolutely wonderfully here. And West double of four hearts uh, would also have worked wonderfully if, if partner had let us stay. But, of course, one of the defects of the bid, and the reason we didn't like it, is that it's likely to push uh, partner into a, a heart lead, thinking that you're better than uh, Queen Jack High. So another six imps, and that's close to uh, the final nail in the coffin. What have we got? Five boards left and a 35 imp margin. And we've said at the start that we prefer to watch matches where it's very, very close because it's more exciting. However, when it comes to the end of the match 
and you see who's won. I don't like one team, team winning by four imps and just thinking that it's more or less a question of luck which of these two great teams has finished ahead. It's more satisfying when one team knows that they were eventually, after a wonderful struggle, the better team and, uh, and deserve to go through. Yeah, I remember the, uh, the singles just a few months ago. That was brutal at the end. I mean, really, really brutal. Exactly the same when I lose a match. I'd much rather lose a match by 18 than to lose it by 3. That's very, very annoying, particularly if you've made uh, a mistake somewhere in the last set that you uh, don't think you should have made. East has a massive hand, but I mean we can expect him to open just uh, one club, I think, because he's not expecting that to be passed out. And he can rebid uh, four spades if necessary. So with only 16 points, you don't want to take any risk of, uh, although the vulnerability is in his favor, of opening two clubs and a lot of space being wasted and you find it harder to show your 6-5 shape. So on two suitors, you can just open with a simple bid and uh, give a good description of your hand by bidding strongly later on. On the subject of uh, close close matches, the uh, the ladies in the USA against the Holland are still pretty close. Just about a goal in it in the uh, data terms. At the other table, they did bid one club, one heart from south, negative double from west, preemptive three hearts. And south now went, east now went all the way to five hearts. No doubt uh, showing the void, exclusion, Blackwood. But uh, they managed to stop in five spades because uh, East then knew that, it, uh, West now knew that the Ace of Hearts was uh, no use. Had he had the Ace of Diamonds, that would have been uh, some triumph to diagnose the slam after that preemptive intervention. I've, I've been uh, commentating on a few of these now and I still get to see uh, psychic control, which I always look forward to. Have you seen any in these uh, broadcasts before, David? No, but because you're of student age and I'm of old age pensioner <laughs> age, you no doubt see psychic cubids a lot more often than I do. I don't think much of them and we couldn't ex wouldn't expect to see them at this level. It's uh, part of uh, important part of your bidding technique, is it? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. The, that's the only part of my bidding technique. <laughs> So yeah, they'll diagnose the problem here. Two spades is a pretty rare bit in most systems because it is forcing to the game even though your partners only cobble together a one level response. And that's a common fault with beginners that they make jump shifts on the uh, opening hand just because they've got 17 rather than 12 or something. But you need a pretty good hand to do it. So here the bidding should be simple as anything. Spades are agreed, he cupids four clubs and the other guy denies a diamond control. At the other table where we had this exclusion five heart bid. North was very quick to lead the jack of diamonds against five spades. Entirely obvious that the uh, East had a massive two suitor and a void heart. So uh, it was diamonds where the losers lay. So they did at least take their two diamonds against five spades.
Well, we're getting some shapely hands near the end. In fact, it seems in this match that uh, that may not be enough to uh, create any excitement with regard to the scores being close. But that's, uh, that's as I like it, as I just explained. You know, you don't want these matches to be decided by luck. And uh, it was very close, but in this final set, Germany have uh, deserved to be in, in the lead. That lead includes the deal where they didn't cash ace king of spades off the top, so it can hardly be said to be the result of luck. You've only got to just glance once again at the uh, scorecard at the other table and see that fabulous line of plus scores, what, nine consecutive plus scores producing swings of 1, 8, 1, 12, 4, 12, 6. So a really great uh, final session for Germany. And I mentioned some two hours ago that it's France who have the history of uh, winning countless uh, senior championships, uh, a wonderful record. And so uh, in a way for any neutrals in the audience who like these championships to be shared out, then it's, uh, it's good to see some new kids on the block, if I can use that expression for people playing in a seniors event. Yes, absolutely, uh, would be five heart. He can see that he's got uh, some chance of defeating the game on the, on a singleton diamond lead if he fences that. Even if uh, they take it, he's got a chance they can get two hearts and uh, a diamond rough when he wins with the ace of spades. So he's bound to take his chances on uh, in defence here. One thing South can be sure of is his partner hasn't madly led from Queen Doubleton when that's uh, East suit. So waste of time. West Fulks card is absolutely clear as anything that uh, that's a single diamond. No time for uh, North to be greedy by underleading his Ace of Hearts for a second entry, and he's pleased that he can see the King of Hearts in the dummy to avoid any uh, such temptation to get too down. Right, at the time when I was um, discussing whether North should bid five hearts, I hadn't seen at that stage that North did bid five hearts at the other table, and that was doubled for one down. So I like better the, uh, the French decision, because I don't think you can be sure to get out for any one down in five hearts, and he could visualize that he had, had defensive chances at least. And he has therefore picked up what in fact is a fairly juicy 7 ints and uh, had the match been closer, that could have been a match winning decision. I also like the pass. Um, you don't, you're not sure about the fit here and you have Right, well, there's some chance of making six hearts, and the French started a diamond, a spade, two no trumps, three hearts, three spades, four club cubid, four diamonds, double, pass, pass, four no trumps, 
Anyway, they climbed up to six spades, which of course has got some play. And, and the French pair at uh, the other table, they're looking at the depressing string of plus scores in their minus column, which on the BBO screen shows us uh, plus scores to north-south, of course. And uh, you know they knew they needed uh, at least one good board in the face of that. So they were entirely right to uh, attempt six spades on this hand. And uh, well, I don't know what the French is for lady luck. La dame du de bon chance or something. Uh, didn't smile on them on this occasion. And uh, the heart finesse was wrong and they went off. Yeah, even if heart finesse is on, this is not such a great slam. Um, you have a club pitch. I'm looking at it, double dummy, but you, you need quite a favorable position. Because Ethan only has three trumps. Well, looking at it from West's point of view as well, he he was facing a one diamond opening, not a one club one, so it's quite likely that his partner would have a good slice of his 18 points, so wasted in diamonds. So worth a try nevertheless, but uh, it was not that brilliant as Johan points out, and, um, and it wasn't made, so valiant effort, went down fighting, but uh, that must be the end of the match, one would think. So uh, for the specs here, uh, this one is winding down, but uh, there's an exciting one, a relatively exciting one in the um, in the ladies between the Dutch and the and the and the Americans. Well, of course, I realize that you're new to uh, BBO commentating, Yuan, but of course you must never advertise another match. You must try and get all, all the spectators to flood onto your table. That's the main objective in, in commentating. Uh, I stand corrected. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> obviously, he's like to hear our voices instead. Well, it's all right. I mean, uh, a young novice is bound to make uh, horrendous basic mistakes on his uh, first few outings. <laughs> no, you've done absolutely mar marvelously well, and I'm sure the organizers are uh, delighted to class uh, and take on their books. So I don't think uh, he I'm not quite sure what he's thinking about here. Um, this option seems like we're playing four spades. The east hand is very good, and if his partner had made any suggestion, he would be charging into a slam. Queen Jack in the second suit, lovely trump support, aces in the two minors, but his partner hasn't made a try. His partner's done nothing yeah. beyond saying, I, I want to have a shot at game, so it would be unforgivable to go on, really. I'm sure he won't. Yeah, I agree. Even his uh, supposedly doubtful Queen Jack doubles in hearts is getting better in the auction. You, you can you can understand why the, 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 the pair in the other room went. Um, but West has all sorts of encouraging bids available. As um, the text commentary says, it's not clear to us if the three heart bid here is showing five or not, whether or not West would use, say, three clubs with a new minor forcing to ask for a four card major or three cards of spade support. Um, playing sensibly with myself, I think West has shown at least five five, which is perhaps why he's thinking. But it's not clear. If East had held, for instance, instead of the Queen Jack Doubleton part, King Doubleton, now, now you're really thinking. Um, if partner even has if partner has nothing in the minor suits, you might still be on just with the club finesse here. That you can maybe set up um, hearts 
King A is rough, but looking at this particular holding, I think it's an optimistic viewpoint. Wow. Uh, uh, in my, let's say, limited years of experience, compared to, say, David, aha, uh -huh, that's just saying he's old, I've never, I've never been key card in this kind of sequence. And I would expect well, my partners not mm. to do it either. No, the very most you can do when you've limited your hand, partners made no try whatsoever, is to make one further try your way, not to just bid Blackwood and say, I'm going to bid six if unless there are two aces missing. So if Forno trumps his Blackwood, well, that's, uh, well, anyway, I'm not going to say too much about how I, how I dislike a bid, because it's just a bit rude for players playing in the World Championship semi-final. Let's just say I, I don't agree with it. Why? Well, West has shown nothing of it. Oh, sorry. If, you, if four notes from here, I mean, it has been alerted. If it's a last, last, last attempt, if you think if you're sure that the five level is safe, which I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not fully convinced myself. My partner's been all sorts of things on five, five hands here. And it looks like this has been alerted, and it's perhaps the case that. Well, being optimistic, I hope that Forno Trump is uh, some kind of last last try, and that maybe five clubs say some rest or no interest. But if it's just a key card response and key card ask, well, I, I don't know where this bid is coming from. Well, uh, we can say, I suppose, that he judges that uh, they're doing well and that he's worried that France may bid against the odds and he wants to match it. Not really true, because uh, I don't know that the boards have been that favourable to Germany in this room. It was a level game when they started, and they let through a slam with two top losers. Surely he doesn't think that his side is going to be behind, just because of one bad board and that he needs to bid a uh, below par slam. So I think this, of course, is understandable after playing for two weeks, but uh, I, I think that East is not entitled to, uh, to make even one try over over four spades when his partner may have had a three count and be just sort of hoping to, uh, not a three yeah, count, but anyway, yeah. a, a lot a lot less than that. He may he may not have had, he may have been 5-5 five, five with a loser in the minors and and uh, the, you've got the difficulty of setting, uh, setting the hearts up with only three trumps in dummy. So the very most he should do is just to make uh, one try. Uh, I absolutely agree, especially with three trumps. And you don't know if partner has good trumps or not. You know, if you are playing and setting up the hearts, you need to, you need to rough. And uh, we all know that roughing with big cards is damaging to our trump holding. And but on that point about uh, being ahead or behind or whatever, at this table, East West don't know that they're, they've had two huge boards on board 23 and 26. So the 23 three no trumps was thin, but fairly normal. I mean, most people upgrade. I mean, most expert tables would bid one no, three no. And board 26, sorry, that was 26. So board 26, big 12 inch swing, it was a totally normal three spades at this table. So, uh, of the, there's 26 imps which this table shouldn't really know about. Right. Anyway, having said that, I mean, it's not to criticize one particular bid from a team that's 30 up and about to triumphantly reach a world final. So let us get back onto a level and say it's been a brilliant effort from the German senior team and any of their spectators who are a bit annoyed if we don't, <laughs> if we're not polite enough about one particular bidding sequence, goodness me, they know that we've made a uh, thousands of mistakes in our lives, many, many more than these wonderful world-class players have. And they fully deserve to be uh, 30 imps up, and uh, if I was in Bali, I would be offering them a drink in the bar, so well done to them. Oh, oh absolutely. It's almost, uh, I'll tell you, we were, we were being a little bit harsh. It's almost a surprise, let's say, that uh, uh, they, they had made a mistake. They've been playing really, really good bridge so far. It was, it was almost a surprise.
another good board here. They've got spades, which is a pretty good return on those cards, isn't it? Uh, super. Went one spade, two clubs, over call of two hearts, pass, pass, three clubs. Now South thought he was, uh, I dare say three clubs isn't forcing in the French system, but anyway, look, he's had a German, oh, that's the uh, Germans, of course, are playing the north-south cards. South came again with three hearts, got preference into spades, and went to to four spades. So that's uh, that's pretty good bidding. Excellent. I don't really see how a four spade makes, but uh, yeah. Big, big, big result in the other room. Max is set. Well, the first two tricks were uh, Singleton Hart was led, and then Declarer ran the club. He, oh, he led the ten of clubs and overtook with the jack. Hmm. Then he ran the jack of spades, so <laughs> the first few tricks couldn't possibly have gone uh, better for him. So he drew trumps and played on clubs, hoping to make a huge number of tricks. And they didn't break, but uh, by that stage he had five spades, two hearts, that's his seven clubs for ten tricks. Oh, I see. Uh, there, was a, there was a defensive error, I think. Um, they, they didn't cover the jack of spades while holding the trump control in the club suit because there's no way for the player to get back to his hand whilst his partner co covers the heart suit. Well, if covering the Jack of Trumps beats the contract. That's a pretty unusual hand, isn't it? Is that right? And that would be a fabulous defense to find. Uh, well, your partner led uh, what looks to be uh, a thing with heart, and you have the thing with club, so I, I think it's too hard to see, but I don't know. I'm getting a little bit tired and more, more critical. My, 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 <laughs> my pleasantries have decreased a little bit. But anyway, there are two hearts doubled here, so Declare will be quite pleased to see the nine of hearts drop, but ace, king, and the spade rush is uh, three tricks already, and then ace, king, of hearts lose, and uh, the ace of clubs to lose. Just incredible the wealth of uh, bridge material that two weeks of a, a world championship with three events throws up. I mean, you could spend the rest of the year analysing all the all the hand records and have a good time doing it. But occasionally, uh, unusual deals come along, and certainly I shall be very interested to take a look at this board under deep finesse to see if uh, that queen, see exactly what happens if that queen of spades is covered. Point is uh, Westcott three to the nine in Trump, so the declarer can't just uh, pull Trumps. It would be quite amazing because I don't think many defenders would find that defence. Of course, so uh, yeah, I'm sure you and would, but uh, but not the <laughs> not the French guy playing in the seniors. 
uh, the, semifinals. Uh, yeah, I'm saying that just uh, yeah, there's something to the hand when. Let's just say that I was slightly surprised that they didn't find the cover. So I've just had a private message from a good thanks to him. He has a real finesse. And uh, that's absolute, absolutely right that uh, he says that deep finesse does confirm that that beats it. I mean, for me, it was just a, it was a, maybe a little bit of a simpler issue that if, if you know, if you don't cover and uh, the clearer picks up the space, to, now you know the club suitors running. Um, declare a finesse the ten, uh, around the 10 already. I, I think that it was probably better to even cover the 10 of clubs with the queen because you hold the queen, nine, eight, four. So there's a, I think there was a defensive mistake by both sides, um, not covering the queen. Tim Burke is obviously on top form. He says he thinks the French defender must have been the moment by not covering. I think one thing we do know is that uh, the, these guys have fewer senior moments than the rest of us. I like this overtake of the ten of clubs, though, because North is catering for partner having the singleton here, and if partner doesn't have a singleton, there, there's there's no particular downside. What North doesn't want is some some desperate some desperately bad scenario where uh, the clear edge has decent trumps and starts running diamonds. Give South, for instance, uh, three diamonds instead of uh, three diamonds in a singleton club instead of uh, two diamonds in two clubs. Now, if he doesn't uh, doesn't cover, uh, declare can get in and uh, play ace of uh, ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, and queen of diamonds, pitching the club. Oh, I've been corrected by David. Sorry, that uh, North is on lead at trick four. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So that's another eight imps, and I don't think uh, the the French team are going to mind that at this stage because they know they've lost the match. And as I've mentioned, that it's it's better to lose a match by thirty or forty than by some number that has you worrying whether you could possibly have. Uh, Somehow won it if you'd taken a couple of big decisions in a different way, and that's uh, as I already said, is uh, nearly 40 imps, including the slam that was uh, was let through with Ace King missing. So we're onto the final board, and uh, we're going to say not for the first time how uh, wonderful the organisation has been here, in particular the training and the performance of the ViewGraph operators. Many thanks to them. It's uh, just. Uh, 
a slight slight pity that we don't know the name of the operators. There is some wonderful uh, link that shows you all their pictures, all their names. What I do know is that they're not from around the world. They're, uh, they're host operators from Indonesia, and they've performed wonderfully well. So we'd like to thank them. I'd like to thank, of course, uh, BBO for allowing us to watch these wonderful championships as they happen. And uh, believe me, every single commentator enjoys watching these uh, great matches, these great players performing every bit as much as, uh, as the Kapitzas do. Thanks once again uh, to Jan, who's a new commentator, very young. He's probably a good number of <laughs> an embarrassing number of decades younger than me, but he's been a great commentator, and I've enjoyed uh, sitting alongside him on the uh, virtual commentators bench. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed these these, these sessions with you as well, David. Hope to meet at some point soon, hopefully. So when uh, when you pick up this kind of monster hand, a partner opens the bidding. Yeah, I, I don't know about me, but the first thought that goes through my mind has my partner psyched in second seat, favorable. But um, but yeah, I think they'll get to a good good spot here. Not so easy to uh, bid big hands when no trump fit comes to light. Sort of hand where uh, people will. Make a f three or four rounds of bidding, and South will shrug his shoulders and uh, bid six no trumps. So, well, I had 20 points, and uh, partner had opened the bidding. Uh, uh, we had no fit, but the king of hearts was looking good. So, uh, yeah, I had a six no trump. It yeah, looked pretty good. Uh, what accent was that, David? Is that a New Zealand accent? This is a multi-purpose accent, which covers, I'm told, about 22% of the world's countries. Yeah, I caught a bit of a Dutch or German sign in there, I think. Maybe Scandinavian as well. Well, didn't you notice the subtle variations during the sentence to, uh, to cover such a wide range? Uh, very impressive. I'm sure it's uh, uh, impressive at the parties. Anyway, so the auction is... That might, oh, sorry, here's a, a situation where might, West might consider doubling four clubs, although, again, it's not perhaps that useful. Goodness me, and what an atrocity that would be. <laughs> He's not going to double four <laughs> clubs, I assure you. Probably be playing it redoubled. No, the bidding is comprehensible to everyone, as how you would normally bid. The South is too good to make a decision either where to play at his second turn or how high to play, so he bids fourth suit forcing. North is very happy to show a 6-4, and the other guy now bids, uh, rebids his suit. And they haven't found a fit, and now 4 no trumps. Who knows what that means, because no suit's been agreed. They're on their way of one of the auctions which are familiar to us all, which will end in six no trumps. That's uh, my fairly confident prediction. Seven, seven hard is actually excellent with the strong trump suit and the uh, possibility of setting up the spade suit or um, nothing worse than the 5-2 diamond break to rough the third diamond high. Um, my comment on the auction here is that North did bid three hearts over three clubs, which might just still be 5-4. He's in a fourth, he's being forced to bid, but over four clubs he's now bid four diamonds. So I, I really think North is suggesting 6-4 here, because over three clubs, even with 5-4 shape and doubt, you might have just rebid three diamonds. I have a principle I go by, which is minimum bid for minimum type hands, and so I think North has shown 6-4, and now it starts to think, North has a reason to bid three hearts and not three diamonds earlier. So that means definitely six pieces and possibly a decent suit. Uh, North didn't offer three no trumps either. Right. I've not followed that. Why do you say he has six hearts? I haven't uh, grasped that yet. Oh, I'm saying that over three clubs, the force here, North's three diamond response would just be a minimum bid, uh, not necessarily promising five five. But he did choose to bid three hearts, which could just show still only five pieces, but say a nice heart suit, willing to play opposite uh, King Doubleton, for instance. But now over four clubs, uh, yet another force, 
north of Spitz for diamonds. Uh, he's not, so with with you know, I, I suppose you know the inference is still there that he could have the ace queen jack ten fifth and four relatively bad diamonds, but. I think there's some inferences that he should have six here. Right. Well, the whole of that analysis, the whole of that analysis was based on the fact that three diamonds would be some artificial bid showing a minimum, and I haven't heard of that before. I would assume he was rebidding his diamonds. If, if three diamonds would be rebidding the diamonds, he hasn't uh, promised six hearts. So I mean, it doesn't it doesn't seem so easy to bid this hand. Right, but when you're in the forest with three clubs. What do you do? You low stat, it's low hand, isn't it? Well, well you are some. You're sometimes forced then to rebid three hearts on five four shape, and that's why I agreed with you when you said that. But I, I, I don't agree that you would sometimes bid three diamonds on five four shape just to show a minimum. I, I haven't haven't heard of that method anyway. It, it's a difficult hand to bid, as we said right at the start, because South's got a great hand and. Uh, and no fit, and they seem to be heading to six no trumps, just like uh, sort of um, most players would at your local club, and probably just like I would. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, over this this south hand, you know, you, you might have just popped out, popped with a five no trump pick a slam. Um, because you've already shown your, what South has definitely shown is he's definitely shown his black cards. And uh, his short suits are pretty powerful short cards. See, at the other table, they only took three bids on the hand. North opened two hearts, which uh, presumably shows a lot more than a week two. South did an inquiry of two no trumps, and North did four hearts. Gosh, absolutely uh, amazing. Well, I don't know what two hearts means, but it, that looks like a pretty fan fabulous hand. Even if you're playing that your week twos or, or the two ranges nine to twelve or something, I'd be a bit nervous bidding two hearts on a hand with that fabulous heart suit and uh, and a second uh, four card suit. Surely one heart looks okay. Anyway, they seem to have six hearts. You can't guarantee three diamonds if uh, you get a heart lead, for example, because the diamonds are blocked. If you don't get a heart lead, you can cash the diamonds and overtake the king of hearts, and then you've got six plus three plus three is twelve, yes. So it's uh, the heart lead which is going to uh, perhaps be a problem if they get to six no trumps. These auctions I mentioned that sort of jumble along and then head to six no trumps, they do often include some uh, long pauses in the middle, and we've got the first of these pauses now by North. Not that there's anything in the least bit wrong with the bidding, but that's just the way it, way it goes on these tricky hands with no fit. Right, their convention card says 7 to 14, and opening two hearts. Well, that's a difficult method to play, and they've uh, demonstrated that very eloquently here at the other table. I suspect that for no trumps, mm, well, given the answer, I suspect it's a key card ask at heart. I don't know when hearts is bet. Uh, five diamonds. One key card, perhaps. Five spades looks um, ominously like a queen ask. I know it's showing the queen and the king of diamonds. Well, he's heading for six anyway, and he's not going to bid seven if his partner shows the queen of hearts. So I, it's obvious that North is taking these bids as conventional, maybe showing uh, the king of king of diamonds if it is a queen ask. But I mean. South can't be sure of a rock solid heart suit on, on this bidding, even if he knows that there are six hearts there, which we've been uncertain about in the commentary. I mean, ace queen to six facing bear king is no use. 
It's, it's surely going to uh, lumber lumber into uh, six no trumps. I mean, if South guarantee, I mean, if Five Space, for instance, has guaranteed all the main key cards, then South can make a grand slam try, I suppose, with six no trumps. Well, I don't even know if that's a grand slam try or a sign off. Because at no point was what card agreed uh, as an actual playable suit. But I don't know. I mean, North. I mean, they, they North South know that they, need, they probably need a few good boards, and with the solid suit, might be seven. I don't know. Well, who's to say it's six nice no trumps answer. might be a, six no trumps might be a good board? Who, who's to know that that's wrong? And in fact, that's the case, isn't it? Four hearts plus three at the other table, so you don't have to go absolutely mad to try and get a good board. No, I, I agree. Um, I'm just suggesting a possible because it, it's curious that South has decided to go through this torturous sequence and then just bid six no or something or five no pick a slam. Well, you know, North might have Queen Douglas in a space, and six spades is the best contract. Well, the thing that is puzzling us, the bidding seemed absolutely straightforward up to four clubs. But now, with no suit agreed, I mean, I don't really know what four diamonds meant, and that's the, uh, that's the problem. Say North had bid four hearts, why should he not do that? He's only got a minimum with no fit, assuming his partner's just shown enough to game in both black suits by bidding four clubs, which is what he has. Ah, see, he's uh, bid six hearts now. Well, six hearts is a wonderful contract, and slightly better than, uh, quite a lot better probably, than uh, six no trumps in view of the fact that uh, double dummy, they might have got a heart, a heart lead. So they've ended up in a very good spot. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. Many, many chances here. And even if partner only has ace queen six, you know, ace queen empty six, you know, that, that you have the top three. Trumps don't always have to break so horribly badly. And if they do break badly in that partner's hand, you probably weren't making six nil either. No, I mean, the thing of interest is whether seven hearts is a good contract because uh, by playing in hearts, where they've done wonderfully well to get into hearts, um, but you don't have any worries, whatever, about the diamonds being blocked, and you've got six, nine, you've still got 12 top tricks, so you only need one extra trick. Maybe you could even, uh, you could even rough the third round of diamonds, for example, with the king, because you've got plenty of high trumps to draw trumps. So it looks like you might be able to, uh, you don't need to set up an extra trick in one of the black suits, just take a diamond rough for your uh, 13th trick. But any, six hearts is uh, good enough to win the board, as we see. It's probably unlikely to get a a rough in, in seven because with these hands, I, I'm guessing they're going to lead a trump. Absolutely, that's a good point. Trump lead, and then uh, in seven, you would need to try and maximise your chance of. Uh, getting an extra trick in the black suits. So you could uh, use the diamonds as entries on after a trump lead. You could just draw trumps, start playing on a black suit, losing using the diamonds as entries. Well, you can do that against 4-2 spade break, for example, looks like. Ace, king of spades, yeah. rough, diamond, rough, and uh, you've still got, you've got plenty of entries. Yeah, it's very good. Even, and even with 5-1 spades, you, you can fall back on the club finesse. So I mean, we can see that it's a very high percentage, and you can even, and even with bad trump breaks, you you can actually you know there's, there's lots and lots of play. Uh, club lead quite nice actually, um, so we should take a guess. Yeah, if it were in seven, in six, I think this is play as safely as possible. 
Yeah, a club lead in seven, of course, allows you to take the diamond rough that we saw. So that was a pretty good final hand. We're lucky there, and uh, I enjoyed watching this set. Hope you all did. Many thanks for watching, and uh, we've got a feast ahead of us uh, in the next two days watching the finals. Great.